Hello again, I am Blunty, and I've been checking out the Gigabyte RTX 2080 Game OC GPU. The review of said variant of said card is linked in the down below area. But there's something specific I wanted to drill down into in this video. So you read in a couple of the Day Zero reviews that, that NVIDIA had mentioned the onboard H.264 video encoder of the 20 series as being an upgrade and delivering better looking video encoding, particularly at low bit rates. This was particularly enticing as using the GPU to encode for streaming and thus by necessity at low bit rates on the GTX 10 series and prior wasn't especially good. And I've explored this in videos before, clearly showing that you get noticeably better results using CPU encoding instead for the kinds of bit rates needed for streaming. But, of course, using the CPU is also a much more significant strain on the system resources while you're gaming and you can impact game performance, while the GPU encoder avoids all of that. So while the GPU encoder is better for game performance while streaming, if you care about image quality for your audience, especially with high detail, fast moving images, CPU encoding was the way to go. And if you want to see the full breakdown of that testing, also linked in the down below area. So yeah, I thought the whispers of the RTX 20 series addressing that and improving the low bitrate encoding was very enticing indeed. And it was something I saw repeated and quoted in more than a few reviews and always without any kind of testing to support it. They just parroted it up as fact, and never tested it. Just another case of lazy or ignorant or stupid reviewers parroting the stuff they saw elsewhere and never actually tested it. So in my brief time with an RTX 2080, I tested it. And as you're seeing, the maximum bitrate that Twitch supports, 6,000 kilobits per second, which is the bitrate I personally stream at, there is actually no difference. These tests were done at 1080p 60 frames per second, and there's near enough to identical amounts of artifacting, macro blocking, and frame drops. So if you're hoping for the 2080 series to save you a bit of CPU overhead, I'm afraid I'm gonna disappoint you. I also tested at 2500 kilobits per second, another common bit rate you'll see some streamers use, 1080 30 frames per second this time. And I had the same results, indistinguishable visual quality when comparing the 10 series to the 20 series at identical settings. Finally, I also tested 1500 kilobits per second at 720, 30 frames per second. And you guessed it, the claims are absolute bunk. There's zero benefit to the RTX 20 series H.264 encoder over the 10 series when it comes to streaming at these kind of bit rates. So it's still a better option to use the CPU encoding if you've got the system overhead to get away with it. Which is thankfully becoming more and more common as we head into the era of more and more cores sitting on our CPUs. So it's not quite the struggle that it once was a couple of years back. What the 20 series does offer up with the video encoding though, is a H.265 encoder. Not that useful for streaming as we stand right now, H.264 is still the standard accepted, but this HEVC, or H.265, encoder will let you record at up to 8K 30 frames per second, and this is where you'll find bitrate savings as HEVC is more efficient by design. So you are going to be able to make better use out of your hard disk space if you do a lot of local game recording. But again, that's not of any use for streaming at all. So yeah, if you've seen any review of these cards parroting the claim that they're better at low bitrate video encodes for streaming and such, maybe don't read or watch that review anymore. They might just be full of crap. Or at their absolute best, idiot plagiarists who don't actually test anything before offering up consumer advice. Jeez. Anyway, I hope this has been useful or at least interesting. I am Blunty, and I'll catch you next time.